Okay, so you wanted to get your guys to uh, spawn. Uh, what you can do here is just create a method for this public boolean can spawn. And then within here, we'll call this world view view. Another return statement. Okay, so first we need to set the block position of where uh, this mod, mob can spawn. So block under entity equals new block position. And then we have to get x, y, and z coordinates. So it'll be this, get x, this, get y minus 1 so we want it to spawn on the ground and then this get z then we'll do block position position entity equals new Position. and then it will essentially be the same thing just without the minus one and then our return statement will add a few things into it so we'll set view intersects entities this and we'll put an and function this world is night so it will spawn at night time and you can also do another one and make sure that it doesn't spawn in a fluid so we'll do an exclamation mark which means won't contains fluid and then we'll set it to this and then we'll get the bounding box of this creature, which is essentially is the tip box. Then we'll add another and function. This world get block state. Then we'll call this position entity. get block can mob spawn inside so this basically just makes it so that it allows it to spawn but can't spawn inside of another entity and then this world get block state again then we'll do block under entity and allow spawning then we'll use World view. We'll set the position to block under entity, and then the type of entity will be entities, and this will be our skeleton. And then a true or false here for the return. Uh, so we've set this as a boolean can skeleton spawn equals true, and we'll set this as the and function as well. So all of these have to be true in order for this to spawn. And what we'll have to do next, we'll have to go into entities and where we registered Skelly, we'll change this to monster so that it's registered as a monster instead of a creature. And then what we'll do is we'll add a new line here into uninitialize and we'll say this is spawn in it dot in it and we'll create a new file so here we'll create a new class and this is called spawn in it uh, so I've created a folder here called spawns so I'll just throw that into spawns then I'll fix this package and then in entities again I will import that 
then I'll create the init method within spawn init. Okay, so there's quite a lot of work to do in here in spawn init. So first what I'll do, so create a public static int. I'll change the spawn rate equals 100%. So this number is an integer. It can be anywhere between one to 100. Um, so in this case, I'll just set it to 100%. If you wanted 15% spawn rate, you'd just set it to 15 and so on. And then in here, I'll do a public static void add spawn. Then we want to predicate, and this will be util function predicate. Then we want to do a biome selection context. Then do a biome selector spawn group spawn settings spawn entry and then we'll just call this se now it doesn't like this v1 uh, so what i'll do is i'll add in suppressed warnings deprecation and that will get rid of that i'll import spawn group okay so then within here i'll set a precondition check argument and then we'll set this as the spawn entry type get spawn group and then set this as this does not equal spawn group miss now the reason we do that is because spawn group misc uh, spawns miscellaneous for the most part uh, creatures and mobs. Uh, now when I did this I ran into an issue where it was just spawning pigs instead of what the mob I actually wanted to um, spawn. So uh, misc spawns pigs and then I'll just delete this last part here. Okay, so next I'll add an identifier, and this is util identifier, id, registry, entity type, and I'll delete that, that's not right, and then we'll get id, then we'll set that as the spawn entry type, then we'll set a precondition again. Check state, and we'll set this as the ID does not equal registry entity type and get default ID, and then this error message will be unregistered entity type, and we'll set it as the entity name, so we'll set it as that, which is just rejects. Then we'll set this uh, spawn entry type. Oops, that should be an exclamation. Next, we'll do a biome modifications. Then we'll create ID, add, and then modification phase, additions. And the selector will be just biome selector. And then modifier will be context get spawn settings add spawn. This will be spawn. Group. Let's see, I'll just change this to a capital G. Then we'll close that statement off. Okay, so after this, then we'll need to add a private static void. And then for all different types of spawning locations, like the end or the nether or just the overworld, we'll just set those differently. Uh, so, first of all, we'll just do a normal spawn. Which is just the overworld. And we'll do predicate. And we'll do a biome selection context. 
And then we'll do biome selector equals context. And within this, we'll do biome category. equals context get biome get category then we'll return category does not equal biome category and then it will set all of these different categories as ones that it can't spawn into so it can't spawn in the nether then we'll do and, and then we'll set it to the end. So it can't spawn in the end. I'll just copy that whole thing. And then I'll move to the next line. And I'll set that. I don't know. Let's set this to Mesa. And we'll add another one. We'll set this to Desert. We'll add another one. Set this to Mushroom. Add another one. Extreme Hills. Can add another. I see. And then add another one, ocean. And you can continue doing this. Um, and then if you want to add one, uh, you would just take out this, add plus or equals equals, and then set that to beach, and then close it off. We don't want that, so we'll just uh, close that off. All right, so within this function, we'll uh, add spawn, and then we will use biome selector, then we'll spawn our entity. So from entities, we'll spawn skeleton, and then we'll get a spawn group. Now instead of SE, we'll just do a new, and we'll set spawn settings, spawn entry, and the type will be entities, so skelly. The weight uh, is the spawn rate, so we'll set the spawn rate to the int that we had set up up here. Minimum group size, uh, so just two. And then max group size is four. So it'll spawn anywhere between two and four. And then we have to fix this to buy an underscore b, because that's what we had set in here. All right, now in the init function, now we have to call the normal spawn that we just made. So normal spawn, now that's wrong. So it's get spawn settings, and then instead of get IDs, it's get ID, and that will fix that. Uh, because this is an entity mixin, we have to set the mixin type. So this is a spawn restriction. So we'll do that, and then we'll import mixin. Okay, so now we've got to go to entity mixins.json and make sure that entity mixin is not under client. Uh, but is instead under just mixins. If it's under client, it will error and it won't uh, work properly when you start Minecraft. Uh, so once that is set up, um, go to entity mixins and then and add some things. So here we'll just do shadow, we'll do private static. T extends and then it'd be mob entity. And then void register. It's the wrong register. Entity type. And then type and then spawn restriction location and then set location. Now here we'll do a height map type and then we'll do height map type here. Then we'll set spawn restriction to spawn predicate. Then we've got to set a static function. We'll 
register. And type is entities. And then it'll be skeleton, so skelly. Location will be spawn restriction. Location. And then it will be set to on ground. Uh, so what this does is it just sets the spawn location uh, only to ground. So if it was in water, it can only spawn in water or lava, it can only spawn in lava or no restrictions, obviously. Then the height map type, we'll set this to height map dot type dot motion blocking the leaves. And then the predicate will be hostile entity and then can spawn in the dark. And uh, there's other options here that you can set it to. But for this case, um, it can ignore light level, but we'll just do can spawn in the dark. And there you have it. That is how you spawn mobs in the game. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments, uh, just leave them down below. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe.